Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at a small box game coming to us from publisher Devere. This is called Sovereignake Florist? For, not a florist, it's a forest. And the pronunciation, I'm not sure, Sovereignake? Sovereignake? I'm not sure, honestly. But let's take a look at what it says in the back. Winter is closing in on the forest and all the animals scurry about trying to put together a nice pantry so they can make it to the spring. Clear their paths and help your friends spend their cold days under the warm blanket of a full belly. All right, well, preparing for hibernation. Yeah, I've, there's been a couple of games with that theme. I can think Creature Comforts is one that's a recent game that has a, a similar theme. But this looks like a much smaller, primarily card game. All right, let's see. It says it's a game about placing cards and building paths. Each turn, you'll add a card to your 4x4 four four forest. Cards can have either animals or the forest paths where they'll find food. You need to make a path for each animal, making sure they collect only the best food. They've got the set, set up here. They tell you how to understand the animal cards. And then playing the game. It's played over a series of rounds. In each round, every player will take a turn choosing one card to add to their forest. When everyone's forest is full, 16 cards, I think they said four by four, then the game ends talk to you about what happens at the beginning of the round and on your turn. On your turn, you must take one of the remaining cards from the board and place it in your forest according to several rules that they talk about there. They talk about what is a path, taking a card, the different types of cards, the end of the round and the end of the game, along with a scoring example and a two-player advanced mode. That's a good point. Let's talk about that player count. It says, two to four players in about 30 minutes. And then a nice little kind of guide on the back here of all the animals. Very cute. All right, some other rule, uh, rule books in different languages. We've got a drawstring bag here. Feels like there's some wooden components within there. Let's find out if I am correct. Sure looks that way. Oh my goodness. We've got a, a number of different things. We've got a very large rooster. We've got what looks like some water droplets. Maybe stones, pebbles, rocks. I'm not sure. Some other little bits and bobs. There is some more in there too, but I think most of the biggies are, are represented here. All right, so I'll pop those back in the bag and then we'll look at the remaining components, which I believe are mostly cards. Let me get all those back in the bag. Hopefully I didn't lose any along the forest floor here. All right. Yeah, those look like stones to me. And we've got a nice little fold out player board. I don't know if it's a player board or a main board. And then you've got a scoring track on the back that I assume you'll flip it over when it's time for final scoring. Let's look at our cards. So two different types of cards differentiated by the two different card backs. I think there were animal cards and path cards, if I remember right. Adorable art. It's going to be very appealing to a lot of people, I think. Card quality seems good. And then we've got a whole bunch of path cards with food that I'm assuming the animals are going to want particular types of food. Certain animals like berries and nuts, certain animals like worms, etc. All right, so you're trying to create a nice path for these animals to get the food that they want so that they can be prepared for the upcoming winter season. All right, well, very cute theme, very nice art, small box game. That is Savernake Forest. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.